Holy shit. That was the fastest half marathon of my life. Cheers. Mm -mm. Well, good morning and welcome back to another week of training. This is a special week though. It's not just my average week of training because I am running the New York City Half Marathon this weekend and I am super pumped and I might be biased, but this has to be the best half marathon course in the world, hands down. Now, drop in the comments if you think otherwise. I'll actually put up on the screen what the route is. It's such a fun run. I've done it one other time. However, when I ran it the first time, it was 2022. And that was my first ever half marathon that I ever ran in my life. For one, I was new to the course. I was new to running that distance. And also three months prior to running, I was having some complications with my neck, just some health issues that I had to have dealt with. So I didn't really get to train for it like I would have hoped for. By the way, if you see in any of my videos, like this red mark on my neck at any time, sometimes it stands out a little bit more when I'm very hot. It's not a hickey, I promise. It's just the scar from when I had the issue with my neck a couple years ago. Anyways, I didn't get to train for the race like I had really hoped, but I finished it and I was super proud of it. My time was two hours and three minutes. So now, of course, if you've been watching, you know, last year I did my first half Ironman. I ran my first full marathon, and now I am training for my first full Ironman. I have had a lot of training over the past really year or so, so it will be interesting to see what my time is now when I do this half marathon this year, but I'm super pumped for it. It's gonna be a hell of a race, that's for sure. By the way, if you are new here, uh, yeah, my name is Ashton Palmer, and I am currently training for my first full Ironman. And this YouTube channel is really dedicated to just showing what it's like to train for one uh, in a realistic manner over the next couple of months. My race is July 21st, I think it is. Um, so I still have quite a few months left of training. Today I have a speed bike workout. I'm kind of taking it a little bit easier this week. Um, normally I turn these speed bike workouts into a brick workout, but I have a speed run tomorrow and I don't want to overdo it on the legs this week going into the half marathon. Let's just go ahead and get on this bad boy. Okay, so we are officially started. I have a 15 minute warm up. And then it looks like there are four main sets. The first set is seven minutes at 230 watts. And then you have a three minutes at 150 watts, six minutes at 230 watts, three minutes at 150, five minutes at 230, three minutes at 150, and then four minutes at 230. Should be a fun little workout. But yeah, I, like I said, I'm not gonna do the run off the bike today. You know, last week I had three brick workouts that I did in one week. If you saw my video, then you know that's the first time I've ever done three brick workouts in a week so my body was definitely exhausted come Sunday afternoon and thank God for that off day I had on Monday today's actually Wednesday yesterday I had a long swim it was right over 3,500 yards longest swim I've ever done in my whole life it took forever too but I felt good getting that one done it's just crazy to think that they're only gonna get longer but it is what it is so yeah, I'm feeling a lot better today, but my calf was a little messed up on Sunday. It felt a little strained. So yeah, I'm just gonna take it easy on it today. And hopefully I, feel, I should feel good for the speed run tomorrow. I just finished that first set. That was seven minutes at 230 watts. And that kicked my ass, man. I don't know how I'm gonna do the rest of these sets. My legs are already toast. That was not fun. I just need to have a positive mindset. Be positive. I can do this. God, please help me. One minute. Let's go. Come on. Three, two, one. Oh. Last set done. This has to be one of the harder bike workouts I've done in a while. Oh my God, that sucked. Now I'm just in a 10 minute cool down. 
and I'm done. God. <laughs> that workout was a bitch and a half, honestly. Thank God that is my only bike workout I am doing this week. I normally have, what, like three rides? But because of the half marathon, it's saving my life this week. Now I just need some water. <sighs> There's nothing like water after a workout like that. You know what else I need? My legs are already needing a massage. Highly recommend a fair gun if you if you don't have one yet. <laughs> So good morning, I just made it to the gym. Let me set this down. This morning I have a speed run on the treadmill and I'll put up on the screen what the workout is, but I'm a little nervous for it because if you look down at the bottom, there's the repeat four times hard at a minute and 30 at 6.32 to seven minute pace. I don't normally have a 6.36 anything in these runs, so, and they already kicked my ass before having that, so I'm a little nervous. <laughs> about how that's gonna go. I really try to, you know, focus on these speed runs. I feel like these runs on the treadmill have really been where I have seen a lot of progress when it comes to my pace on my runs and really just building up my threshold pace in general. So I really try to take these serious and really try to do everything I can to hit what it is saying I need to hit. But I haven't really talked about, you know, what the goal is for the half marathon this weekend. Really, you know, like I mentioned, I ran a two hour and three minute one back in 2022. And based on how my long runs have been going for this full Ironman training plan so far, I think I would like to do between an hour and 45 minutes and an hour and 50 minutes. If I can get within that block, I'll be extremely happy and proud of myself. And I'm just gonna try to follow a pacer the whole time and just try to keep up and see, we'll see what happens. I'm not gonna beat myself up over it, but it is always fun to kind of have goals going into this stuff, you know? So we'll see how it goes. I'm super excited, but first, before I can focus on that race, I gotta survive this damn speed run first. So I'm just gonna finish stretching out and then we're gonna hop on that treadmill and just do the damn thing. All right, just started the hard sets, the four sets at one minute and 30 seconds. I got 6.53 pace. Wish me luck. Last up, baby. Let's go. Come on. Yeah. Two. One. All the heart sets are done. Now just have a five minute cool down. Oh my God, that sucked. All right. I just finished the run. 6.1 miles. It's pretty good. Oh my God. I just need to sit down for a minute. Man. Well, on the bright side, at least the half marathon won't be as hard as that was. I just want to pass out right now. But I'm not able to come to the gym this evening for my second full body workout of the week because I have showings. So I'm going to just go ahead and knock it out. Kind of like I did last week. And I am not looking forward to this because I am exhausted. I will say, going from that speed run to these Bulgarian split squats, it's not the best feeling in the world. That's for damn sure. But it's all about building that muscular endurance. I'm not gonna film the whole thing, but I'll put the workout up on the screen so you can see what I'm doing. It's the same thing as last week. I always do the same full body workout on Thursdays. So try it out if you want. You know my favorite thing about abs is the fact that that means it's the end of the workout. So let's just finish these off. Workouts are complete and they kicked my ass today. But now I headed home, gotta get ready for work. Now I still have a full day of work to do, but I gotta make one pit stop along the way.
had to stop and get a cold brew. Oh, please bring me back to life. I have a long day ahead. Today is exciting because it is expo day, so I'm headed down to pick up my bib and everything for the race to get my race number. But what's exciting about today is I feel like at the expo, like once you go, that's when you really start to feel the excitement and the energy for the race. Because obviously most people there will be racing. It's a lot of people's first time doing a half marathon, but also doing it in New York City. So I don't know, it's, it's super exciting. I remember when I went for the first time, just being pumped just to be there. So yeah, gonna head there now. It is on Fifth Avenue. So we gotta hop on the subway and then we'll be there. picked up my bib. Now it's time to look at everything that I could potentially purchase. This is where I can sometimes spend too much money. Okay, just got some Martin Gels Nutrition. That's gonna be the most important piece of the puzzle. Now let's keep checking out this expo floor. Come at the name wall where they put every person that is running the half marathon on the wall here, their name. So now I'm just gonna see if I can try to find my. Let's see. I just finished up at the expo, so I got my bib number. And the most important thing I got was my nutrition. And I got into Martin Gels. That's what I've been training with, so I'm just gonna stick to those. They had some cool half marathon tank tops as well that I was really hoping to get. However, they didn't have any larges because I guess since it's gonna be a little bit warmer than everyone was expecting, everyone decided to get a tank top. So with that being said, I am now walking to the Nike store and trying to see if they have any running tank tops I could get. I really would like to wear one for the race. I have a few, but you know, you want it's always nice to wear something new for a race. You know, if you look good, you feel good, you feel good, you run good, I guess. I was gonna go to the Nike store to get a tank top, but I walked past Lululemon and I couldn't help myself to at least check it out. What do you think? All right, got my tank for the race. I got everything I need for the run now. All I have to do leading up to the race now is just eat, eat as much food as possible. I mean, I'm not gonna overdo it, but this is one of the perks of having a race is that you get the carb load right before. Not that I don't do that anyways. ship is always so good but today's the day it is half marathon morning it is currently 4 52 in the morning so still kind of half asleep right now i'll be honest i'm excited for today it's supposed to be really good weather it's uh, 49 degrees outside right now and it says by the time i start the race it's going to be about the same about 50 degrees it might be a little windy though but it should be a great day for a run <laughs> anyways starting the morning off drinking obviously a coffee because we have to try to get a bowel movement before this race starts because that is like the worst feeling in the world going into a race and next thing you know feeling like let's just be honest that you have to take a shit cheers to that but i am eating right now as you saw i just made two rice cakes with peanut butter banana 
honey, and then put a little bit of cinnamon on top. So first bite. Fuel me for this race. Sit well in my stomach, please. The nerves haven't fully kicked in just yet, but I'm sure once I get on the subway to head to Brooklyn, and once I get to the race, they'll start, I'll start getting a little bit uh, nervous. All right, time to start warming up these legs just a little bit. I didn't film anything yesterday, but I had one of my buddy's birthdays downtown, but it was cool what he did for it was we did a big workout class at a place called S10 down in the West Village. I was a little nervous <laughs> going into it because I was like, is this the smartest thing to be doing the day before a half marathon? Because it was a little challenging, but luckily I actually feel pretty good today. I'm not sore. So if anything, maybe it just kept the legs warm for today. It was cool, it was a circuit workout. And then right afterwards, we did the cold plunge and the sauna to recover, so I think the cold plunge probably helped a little bit. But yeah, now just warming up these bad boys who I need to be strong today. I need you guys to help me hit the paces that I want to hit because I would really like to see a nice little PR today. And it's only up to you guys. Time to, to get you bad boys ready. So really quick before I leave, let's just talk about what my nutrition plan is for today. So obviously you saw what I had for breakfast. On the way to the race, I put one scoop of G1M Sport in here. It has 20 grams of carbs and then 350 milligrams of sodium. So what I'm gonna do is put it in this cup so I can just throw it away and sip on this on the train ride down to Brooklyn. Uh, so I'll be sipping on that. And then throughout the race, I will take, I'm taking three gels with me. I'm using the Martin gels, kind of like I, I showed you guys at the uh, expo that I got. But each one of these has 25 grams of carbs in them. I really like these, I've been using these for a little while now. So I will probably take this one at the very beginning of the race just to get me going. I'll take this one four miles in, and then this one eight miles in. This one has 100 milligrams of caffeine in it. And so I'm taking it, what, like I said, at mile eight, really to kind of just push me through the end to really just like help me power through at the end, especially if I'm, you know, starting to get a little tired. So that's the plan there. And then one other thing that I've been using lately, which honestly, I haven't really talked about much, but it's so underrated when it comes to my nutrition, mainly for my long runs, is my mom actually got this for me. It's from Advocare. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of that brand, but it's called O2 Gold. And I'll take two of these before a long run or a long workout, but it really helps support the body's use of oxygen. So, you know, sometimes it's hard to get in those deep breaths when you're running or you're cycling. So this really helps your body adapt to the stress that you're under while you are working out or you're, you're doing endurance workouts. And it helps you take those deeper breaths. It helps your body utilize oxygen in a more efficient way. So this has helped me a ton. So I will take two of these 30 minutes before the run. And then also one other thing I don't have here actually is Advil. I'll probably, tap, I'll probably pop one or two of those just to make sure that if any pain does arise, I don't feel it. That's the nutrition plan. Now it's just time to head out to Brooklyn and let's do the damn thing. I just made it through security. It actually feels pretty nice out here. I might be a little cold at the very beginning of the race, being in the tank top, but I'll warm up, of course. But the, the nerves are definitely starting to sink in a little bit. But I'm super pumped. This is going to be a fun run. That was the porta potty line. So let's pray I don't have to use it before the start of this race because. That doesn't look fun. Getting a nice little jog in on my way to the corral. Oh, so excited, the energy is here. One minute till we go. Two hour pace. Let's go. We are off, let's go baby. Let's have a fun run. Beautiful day, actually not as cold as I thought it was gonna be. Not wearing any headphones for this run. Just wanna take in the sights and the sounds and just enjoy it. 
Over a mile in, I'm feeling great. This weather is absolutely amazing. I couldn't have honestly asked for any better weather today. Currently on one of the first big hills of the course. And it's really ruining all the good vibes I was having. I need some downhill in my life. Just hit three miles, feeling great. I might have gone out too fast, but I guess we'll find out. I might have 710 pace, running through downtown Brooklyn. The crowd is starting to get larger. Feeling good. Just past mile four, time for the first gel. Now headed towards the next big challenge, which is going over the Manhattan Bridge. Gonna be a little bit of elevation on this one, so it should be fun. Just finished the climb up the bridge, now about to hit the downhill. So I need to try to make up some time here. That climb was a bitch, but we did it. Now, about to be in Manhattan. <laughs> Cheers. <sighs> Almost none of that went in my mouth. I am over seven miles in, currently running up the east side highway. And this is what I would consider no man's land because there's no crowds. Which is on a long straightaway. Not much support. You just gotta push through. But once you get through this part, it's big crowds the rest of the way. All right, just past mile eight. Time for the next drill. This one has caffeine in it. Hopefully it'll push me through. And hopefully this isn't a bad idea. Let's go. Trail down, getting close to being done with the East Side Highway. Turning off the East Side Highway now, heading down 42nd Street. This is when it starts getting real fun. Really hoping these crowds bring me home. My legs are starting to feel it, that's for sure. Almost there, almost 10 miles in. Next stop, Times Square. hit mile 12. One more mile. Time to push hard. Let's finish strong, baby. Come on. Let's fucking go! Oh shit. Holy shit. That was the fastest half marathon of my life. Oh, I need a second. I think it was an hour and 40 minutes, or right under. Five minutes better than what my goal was. I'm so proud of that.
Hell yeah. What a freaking day, man. That was one hell of a run. I'm on cloud nine right now. But I, I want to sit down. Ah. It says my average pace on my watch was 7.23. One hour and 38 minutes. Oh, God. Chafing like a bitch. Though. Thank you. Thank you. Got it. Got the prize. I'm gonna try to find my girlfriend now and my buddy Chase. And then we're going to get something to eat and I am going to chow down. Hey! Look at this guy! He's just filming, Chase. I'm filming. I'm just gonna put you it expect. away. Bye. Another one in the books. Well, good morning. It is actually the morning after the race, and needless to say, I'm pretty tired, I'm pretty sore, but my morale is extremely high and super proud of the results and how the race went yesterday. My official time was one hour, 38 minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah, I am just super proud of how that race went. I'm just finishing the edit for this video now and just watching it back. I'm just really proud of how everything went, how I kept a strong, you know, mental frame of mind throughout it all. And I really enjoyed doing that whole race without headphones too. You know, I feel like it really helped me keep solid paces. I'll put up on the screen what my average pace was. It'll show it like every three miles, I guess you could say. But it was pretty consistent as you will see throughout the whole time. And I definitely attribute that to not wearing the headphones throughout the race because instead of going to the beat of the music, I was going to the beat of just my breathing, my feet hitting the pavement, uh, and just keeping a consistent pace throughout it all. But man, it was such a great race. I already like want to do next year and see if I can do better than I did this year, but I far exceeded my expectations that I had going into this. And it just goes to show that all this training that I've been doing is really starting to pay off. Um, you know, it's, it's hard to really notice it, you know, day by day, but over the long term, you know, you really start to realize how much you are improving. And I really, um, I'm really proud of myself. So anyways, thank you guys for watching this week's video. It was a really exciting one. I enjoyed, I really enjoyed making this one. It was fun doing the half marathon. And I hope this inspires some people to sign up for their first half marathon if they've never done one. And if you can sign up for the New York City half marathon, I highly recommend doing so hands down. It's gotta be the best half marathon in the world. And I'm gonna stick to that statement. So thanks again for watching this week. I hope you give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe down below. Again, I will be posting weekly as I am training for my first full Ironman. Um, and yeah, I will see you guys next week for another week of training.